Hi guys, this is my video review on the Avantech Xsense CO03J battery powered carbon monoxide alarm. Um, this monoxide alarm, carbon monoxide alarm, is a little different than the company's other um, monoxide alarm. And the other one that they feature is the um, CO03JS um, round battery powered carbon monoxide alarm. And then this is the square one. This one actually differs in that it has a clever little um, latch where you don't have to mount it on the wall. I'll show you in a second. You can actually just set it on a table by maybe like um, your child's bed or something or by your bed and you don't have to mount it. So it's really nice. Um, these all come, all the Vantech carbon monoxide um, readers come with mounting software in the pack and they also come with two AA batteries which you're going to need to power the alarm. So here is the actual alarm. This is a really well made unit. Um, when you get it, you pop the uh, batteries into the battery compartment right here. And then it's easy slide on and off. Um, it's really firm as you heard it, it just went in. And this is the vent that um, would detect the carbon monoxide. And then so when you first get it and you put the batteries in, these three lights right here are gonna calibrate. And you're gonna see them flashing on and off. And then it goes through a series of um, tests and in 90 seconds your unit is ready to go. And you will actually know that it's on by see the power light. Once a minute, this will flash green, and so you'll know that the batteries are good and the, and the unit's working. And if there's anything wrong with the unit, you will see this light, it'll beep, and you'll see this yellow light go off. And then if there was carbon monoxide, you would of course see the red one. Now this unit um, is actually really loud. It has a similar type of sound um, that a fire alarm would have. So I'm gonna go ahead and test the, uh, press the test button right here. Also, if, you're, if your alarm detected carbon monoxide and you needed to hush the unit or any false alarms happened, which I'll discuss in just a second, um, you would just hit this and it would turn it off. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and press it so you can see how loud it is. It's not as loud as their other unit. Um, their other units maybe for a bigger house or, or something, but this unit is a little, um, you know, a little quieter. It has a nice sound. And then, um, so this is the top. That's the little speaker right there, speaker. And then on the back, um, this is, so if you want to mount it, you can mount it with these slots right here. But what I like about this unit, it has a latch, so you can actually just set it up right on the table. See that? Hands free. Just set it next to your bed, next to your child's bed, and you can just set it on a bookcase, whatever. You don't have to mount it. It's really nice. I really like this one. This is my favorite out of all their units, just because it works for what I need it to work for. Um, so what I was saying earlier is if you get a false um, carbon monoxide alarm. So the company recommends that you don't put this in the kitchen because apparently the kitchen has fumes that can set this off and give it a false alarm. So then you'd have to hit the hush button constantly because it would probably be beeping. And they also recommend that you don't put it in the garage or any area with um, dust or dirt or a lot of grease because that'll also um, give the false alarms on the unit. So um, they recommend that you have one of these in every room if you have decent sized rooms just to protect your family against carbon monoxide. And um, these are really well made units and you know it's sturdy, it's firm, if this drops it's not going to break. It's a really great unit so you can get peace of mind with this unit. So hopefully this helped you decide um, by seeing it on a video whether you want to get this unit or not and take care. Thank you.